what's up everybody welcome back to the youtube channel hope you guys are having a good day on today's video guys we're back with the w900 so everybody's been asking about this thing what am i going to do something with it am i going to sell it am i going to use it am i going to get it running well i finally broke down the other day and decided i can't let it sit no more if you guys remember we did a wheel and start on it back when we first started the channel well guys here it is again it's the one with the n14 525 horse um cummins in it it's got 13 speed it's got new rears under it well you just need to go watch the video and see this truck for yourself the ones that just it's new to the channel um it's kind of a little bit of information on it you can go back to previous video where we did the wheel start on it and check it out from there but guys let's go see if we can't drive this truck let's see if we can't get it running again and go drive it thanks for watching these videos guys we just hit 62,000 subscribers like we're so close to 100k it's crazy um, i'm back down here in florida we got a lot of crazy stuff going on so yeah stay subscribed leave us a comment and hit the like button because we're growing we're getting better and we're doing some better videos and the content coming up for the next three videos are just probably going to be the best three videos i've ever done so guys enjoy today's video it's windy out here i'm gonna get back in the house and cool off a little bit here we go homies my truck and peoples we are here with the w900 so like i said guys n14 powered 13 speed um i put a this thing's got a reman cummins in it um it needs a good cleaning up really is all this truck needs this is a nice truck um good cold air conditioner you gotta put the thing back on the transmission i put a 13 speed in this truck it really just needs a good cleaning it's a, it's a nice truck but you can see so my drivers we had to fix this hood um twice now and it's already so this bumper's dinging it in so you got a ding right here um the bumper needs or the hood needs repainted on the fenders because when we replaced uh, or had the fenders fixed they painted them gold and uh to try to match the truck well you can see the paint's chipping off of them but for the most part the truck's in pretty good shape <clears throat> all right guys my throat's sore i sound a little crazy um it's got some decent rubber on it nothing to write home about they are virgin rubber i never had any running issues with it once the motor was done it's got a marine cam in it um stock injectors it's got a good marine cam in it i'd say it probably makes 550 horse it does pull good um it's stock though like it's got stock turbo stock injectors just a good cam in it and the only reason i done the cam so when we got it back um probably i don't know i ran it for a little while one of the uh um on the uh, rocker shafts but you know this thing here has them uh, rocker boxes on the side of the motor one of them rollers went bad so it ate up one of the cam lobes so pulled it in here changed the cam put all new rocker boxes on it bought a complete spare motor with a broke crank the motor with the broke crank only had fifty thousand miles on it so uh and they had put a marine cam in it all this stuff big injectors and i have those injectors i've just never put them in this truck because i don't want it making that much power and going out here and getting burned up so i didn't have the you know turbo and manifold to match the injectors they took that off the motor and i didn't have the money to buy that kind of a turbo at that point in time that's i mean we got this truck when the business was really just getting started good so uh, back then i couldn't just afford to go buy this high performance stuff but the detroit i can make one of them run with just parts off of a tractor this thing here i've never even worked on them like that so i don't know i probably could but um you know i've just always made detroit's work i've always been part of a detroit so that's why i make them run the way i make them run and can afford to do it because i can do it with you know i've just got so many parts laying around for those it's, you know, I don't have no Cummins, so I don't have a bunch of Cummins parts laying around. So that's the deal with this thing. I've got to pull the batteries off. They're shot. I'm not dealing with boosting it off again. Um, I'm going to put some new batteries on it. We'll see if we can get it started back up. I've not ran this truck in probably six, seven months. So hopefully it'll start. 
build up air pressure we'll drive it down the road get it working again and uh, we're going to clean it up put some rubber on it maintenance it go through everything front to back i'm either going to use the truck i'm not real sure what i'm going to do yet but i'm thinking about using it and if i use it um i got a driver now that can drive it and take good care of it so i'm either going to use it if not i'll put it up for sale i'll let you guys know you know we're trying to get the merch out there i gotta make that move i'm just so busy i'm scared to make that move guys i'm sorry we are all set up we've got shirts we got all that stuff i'm just so scared to make that move so tell me what you guys think about doing a pre-order if i do a pre-order i can get my shirt people to actually handle the shipping and all that stuff and but it would probably be like a two or three week process to get your t-shirts and your hats so if you're good with that guys let me know i'll we'll do that if you're if you're willing to do that i'm willing to do that it would be greatly appreciated if y'all did buy some of my shirts i'm just scared guys i don't want to tell y'all i can do something and i can't like i don't want to say hey i'm gonna tell you guys some t-shirts and with my crazy schedule not be able to deliver and you know that's just one thing i will not do i ain't going to commit to it because i know what have happened so i'm trying to get it set up to where i have a reliable shipper you know where we're set up to do it the right way so that's the deal with the t-shirts guys i know y'all want them and i should have done them on that giveaway truck but i'm just so worried about not being able to deliver on my part the way my schedule is and then what well, you know next thing you know everybody's mad at me because uh, i couldn't deliver on time so if you want to do a pre-order we'll see how it works out if you know I, I don't think of two weeks probably two weeks would probably be plenty of time to get you your shirts so let me know what you think about that and if you want to do that we'll do that but let's get this truck started got them rule king batteries the big bad boys you know the 65 dollar ones but heck they got a year warranty so you know it's a pretty good investment actually i think i put them on all my trucks now I used to do the interstate thing because you can get interstates for 55 and now I do the Rural Kings, which is 65 bucks for a battery. You get four of them, 250 bucks, like 300 bucks out the door, tops. So we got four of them. Should fire this drill off. We got power, guys. This sucks. I can't believe I got that hood open that easy. All right, here's the motor, guys. Like I said, it's a Cummins N14 red top. Um, it's a 525 factory motor, which we've got it bumped up to about 550, I guess. Or close to it. So for some reason, it's not wanting to turn over. I'm assuming it's that signal wire down there. And this starters give us an issue before. So um, I'm guessing it could be the starters bad because I've got all the wires hooked up like they're supposed to be. Um, I'm gonna make sure it's out of gear and I'm gonna jump it over. Uh, see here. So, yeah, everything's hooked back up. All the hot wires are hooked back up. Hot, hot. 
ground, ground. The ground's hooked back up. That's tight. Hot. Hot. That's hooked up. That's hooked up. That's hooked up. Now, this is the one that goes to the starter. Maybe it's not getting the connection. But it's got the ECM powered up, so it should. So, I mean, nothing. So, it's got to be that wire. Let me make sure she's out of gear. There's a dead rat right here. Ugh. That means there ain't no snakes in here. Because I'm telling you right now, I hate snakes. I am really, really hate snakes. Badly. Like, to me, any snake that you see is a king cobra. I call them Kentucky cobras. So, any snake is a Kentucky cobra slash king cobra. And I take them like they are king cobras. Like, I don't care if it's a little bitty, cute little rat snake with ponytails I do not like snakes like I will make this truck a convertible if there's a snake in here to be honest with you all right snakey poo where you at I know there's a hole you come through right there there's a dead mouse in here but it wasn't eaten so that is so weird It's out of gear, so let's go. Let's just go cheat on it. Let's see if we can get her poured up. Sometimes you can go straight to here, or you'll have to go use this little post. So, the starter ain't locked up. So, what I'm gonna have to do is go down to that little post, guys. I don't know if this will reach down in there or not. It might. I'm gonna try it and see. Yep. Come on, baby. All right, let me go sit the phone up. Let me go sit the phone up. I want you guys to see this thing fire up. up so clean and no smoke. It's actually running. Heck yeah, boys. Good old pressure. you i had some really really bad luck with an isx that pretty much cost me my business almost cost me my marriage i'm talking like it was so bad like i would have to go out six weeks at a time and run four to five thousand miles a week non-stop killed myself to try to make this truck work this is when i was young and dumb had to have a cool peter built with straight pipes and big power and all that well isx just ain't that motor for that yeah but you know, I know a lot of guys like them, don't care to work on them, but I do not like ISX motors. She's sounding pretty good, my guys. Yeah, 
trailer up, unhook it, and take it down the road. Air pressure to that trailer. Set the hood. Maybe the hood needs some adjusting, so. Hope my big Kentucky Cobra jumps out at me and I get this thing. Oh, it makes me nervous. I got one boat hold this on. It's on there. At least for now. Uh, trailer's airing up. Go park the pickup. Dad can go get boats in the morning. I gotta park this trailer. some rubber put on it but not much more than that really just a good cleaning some rubber and mainly a cleaning all right i gotta find out i don't even remember where the darn window is over there um power mirrors wait maybe it's up here Two degrees, guys. It's hot. I don't remember if the air conditioner works on this thing or not. Yep, there it goes. Let's see. No freaking way. 
freaking way. Already getting cold. How the heck? Well, let's go for a ride. It's nasty as crap. I need some power steering fluid, it feels like. Bucks, this truck would be in tip top shape to go to work. Here she goes, guys, out of the weeds. She's out of the weeds and back to work. Back to work.
well, you know what? I think I might put this thing on the road. Clean it up, put some tires on it, do a good service. Um, paint them fenders, replace that mirror out there. Like I said, probably not even five five thousand bucks. This thing could be on the road. Uh, let's see if we got Jake's. some drivers start fighting over this truck because I've got total different drivers now than I used to have my drivers now like large cars yep I'm gonna say I love this truck now I wasn't a believer in a W9 before but this one here like the seats go way further back than any W9 I've ever been in even the last one I hated that truck because the way the you didn't have no room for your feet. This one's got plenty of room. That eight bag system too, man, it makes it ride so good. 